In this video, I'll be walking through the question you see on the screen here from the maths paper 1-1 from the 2024 Cambridge A-Level exam. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different uh, paper entirely, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to in your classroom. But remember, we're not in the classroom, we're on YouTube. Take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch it at double speed. If you find this video or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, or even a super thanks. In question four, they give us this function here, but then um, it, they put they set it out in a strange way, so it's probably confused some students. They give you lots of points that are on this. For example, uh, two four, a is a uh, two four, and they've um, they've given you five of these, and the important one for part a is b. B is instead of two, they put in two point zero zero. Uh, zero, one, and they haven't given you the answer. It's K. They've given you more of them. They've given you C, D, E, and F. Uh, you know, I didn't want to bother writing them out, but let me just write out the X parts of them. Uh, two, 2.001, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.01, 2.
and F is this number. It's just, again, I haven't bothered writing the numbers down. Um, it's just this Y, take away this Y, divided by this F, this uh, X, take away this X. We'll give you this. And that's all they've done for all of these. Uh, part B simply asks you to find AE. So what's the slope between, uh, what is E here? 4.6. 3566. They just want the slope between E and A. So we just take the, the y's away from each other, 4.6 minus 4, and that'll give us a 0 0.63566. Uh, divided by the x, divided by the, uh, the, the x minus the x. So 2.1 minus 2 will get 0 0.1. Put that into a calculator, although it's just like multiplying by 10. Dividing by 0 0.1, multiplying by 10. We get 6. Point, oh, let me write it in over here. Uh, 6.356. Uh, uh, is that 6, I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. So that's the answer to part B. Now, part C is a bit harder and you have to use your brain more. But unfortunately, you only get one mark for it. Uh, it asks you to deduce the value of uh, uh, the derivative of f at 2. So they write it like this, uh, f prime 2. So the derivative of this slope at point 2. So the derivative at point 3 looks like this, the derivative of 2.5. The derivative of 2 is the slope. And look, these points are so close together that that derivative should be very similar to this gradient here. So that's what they're trying to get you to understand. The gradient of this is a bad approximation. This is a better one. Better, better, better. So that's bad, better, 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 better again. And if we take an even smaller number, uh, a, a number closer to two, 2.0000000001, that'll be better again. And um, so they're asking you to make a guess what the final answer will be. And uh, to do that, uh, well, yeah, here's how I'll show that. What happens if I, because these are my guesses. They're getting better. But let's put these into the, the three significant figures. This guy here would be 7.23. Uh, this would be 6.36. This would be 6.26, 6.25, and 6.25. We got the same answer twice. That means we're done. No matter how much closer we get, we're not going to get a different answer than this to three significant figures. We'll get better answers to four, to five, to six, to seven significant figures. But if all we're worried about, and honestly, that's all we're usually worried about, and in, in the A-level in general, they only want three significant figures unless they say otherwise, and they didn't say otherwise. So this would be my guess, 6.25. If I got even closer, if I got perfect, I would still expect 6.25 as the answer. Okay, that's it for this paper. If you have any questions about anything I did, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.